Hi there, uh, this is Aaron Clark. Uh, this is a lesson number two that uh, I'm actually doing to help my, my niece uh, who is working on some geometry stuff. So here's another video uh, to help her. She's actually working on um, tangents of circles and you know the angles, uh, the relationship between the angles of those as well. So, um, I guess the quiz that she actually sent me is an inscribed angles quiz. So I'm going to go over some of those problems um, and we'll uh, we'll talk about it. So, all right. So she's looking at and hopefully this. I'm trying this for the first time. This is a dry erase board. The way I have it situated. Hopefully, um, it will it will work for you guys, and so you can see it pretty well. If not, please comment and let me know. Um, so, anyways, the first problem is uh, assume that lines that appear in the tangent, so let me draw the, draw the picture here, we have a circle, um, we have a couple tangents, and this is dot O, point O, um, and then there's X degrees, and then they tell us that the measure of angle O is equal to 145 degrees. Okay, can you guys see that okay? Let's scoot a little closer there. Alright, so with this problem they ask you to find uh, the value of x. So find x. So here's what we have. Basically you have a circle with two tangents uh, and the tangents meet at some point over here and create an angle x. So the circle O, two tangents, two tangents meet at an angle x or x degrees. So here's what we do in order to find uh, the, the measurement of x. So O to this point here is a tangent and if the definition of a tangent to a circle is that it's, it touches it in one point, in one spot, and <clears throat> it also it is perpendicular to the center or to the radius to that point. So here's where the tangent and the circle intersect. That point right there where this tangent and this uh, radii, radius meets the, the tangent is perpendicular. Okay, that's one of our one of our theorems and hopefully you can see that perpendicular. And same thing over here. Right, we have a perpendicular, it's a tangent. So now what we have is we've created this um, quadrilateral, which is actually going to be a kite, um, but that's not even that's not even that important that it's a kite. So what we're going to do is basically look at the angles here. So we have this angle which is 145 degrees. So basically the a quadrilateral has 360 degrees in it. So I'm going to break it down into, alright, we know angle O is 145 degrees. We know that these two right angles both are 90. And then we have X. So those have to total 360 degrees, and when we do that, uh, let's see, we're going to get 180 plus 145, which is going to be what, 3, 325 plus x is going to equal 360 degrees, um, 180, yeah, I think that should be right. So then I subtract 325 from both sides, and I get... Uh, what I believe, what, 35 degrees? And for my niece, that's the, the second answer on that, um, on that, uh, the, the quiz or the, um, the homework, the assignment that she gave me. So, anyways, good. So, again, just to review, the key importance is that a tangent intersects a circle at one point and at that point the radii and the tangent create a right angle. Okay. 
Um, so that's number one. I'm gonna find my eraser. Chill out, Bailey. Okay, so that's number one. Let's look at take a look at number two. Here's number two. Uh, we have a picture that looks like this. And they tell us some information. It says that AB is tangent to circle O and that AO is 12. BC is 25. And uh, they're asking for what is AB. Oops, that should be a question mark. Hey, let's do it. All right. Uh, diagram is not the scale, but that's okay. So this one's actually uh, a pretty interesting problem. Again, it goes off the same thing that we talked about in the last problem, and that is that the tangent to a circle First of all, a tangent to a circle, by definition, it intersects the circle at one point. What it does is when it hits that circle, it creates a right angle between the tangent and the radius. So there is our right angle. Hopefully you can see that pretty well. Um, and then now it's asking for what we have, what's here. Well, what we have is basically a right triangle. And not basically, it's exactly what we have is a right triangle. So from here to here is 12. From here to here, right, because this is the hypotenuse of our triangle, right, we know what the distance from here to here is because that's the radius of the circle, so that's 12. And so what we end up seeing is we have a right triangle with a leg there that we don't know the leg here that's 12, and this leg which is 25 and uh, sorry 25 and 12 which is 37. And now we go back in into our right tri or right triangle uh, <coughs> theorems. Uh, one that's really popular is the Pythagorean theorem, and what that says is that the leg squared plus a leg squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared. So now we're just, basically now we have an equation because we know one of the legs is 12, so that should be leg 1 and leg 2. Uh, so it's 12 squared plus, we're call, let's call this side uh, x. So x squared will equal 37 squared. Alright, and when we punch that, well, sorry, what we need to do is solve that equation. Um, so x squared is equal to 37 squared minus 12 squared. And let me get my calculator right in front of me. But basically what you're going to do is square both 37 and 12. And then you'll uh, subtract them and take the square root, which I will do as soon as I can pull this calculator up. Uh, so 37 squared, this is, let me go over here, so 37 squared is 13.69, and 12 squared is 144, so I take the difference of those two, and I have x squared is 1,225, um, and then I'm going to take the square root of, of this. So that equals, looks like we do get a nine, uh, get that right. So square root of two, getting 35. Did I do something wrong there? No, I did not. Okay, so this is 35. 
Okay. Again, the importance is that a tangent intersects the circle at a point, and at that point, it creates a right triangle or a right angle from the radii or the radius and the uh, tangent. So radius, tangent, that creates a right angle. All right. And now we can just convert it into uh, a right triangle and use our right triangle theorems. Okay. All right. Hopefully this is working. You're able to see this. Uh, it's the first time I tried this board. I don't know if it's going to work, but hey, I'm going to try it this time. Uh, all right, so number three on here. This might be the last one. I'll stop this video and maybe create another one because there's uh, a couple other things going on in these. the rest of these. Um, number three. So another problem very, very similar. We have a circle O, a radius R, a tangent, uh, which is the line segment AB, and they tell us some stuff about this. So AB is the tangent to the circle, so that we know, and we're going to find the length of, of the radius R if AB is 8 and AO so that's this piece is 11.7 okay it says round the nearest tenth the diagrams not to scale most of these diagrams are never to scale alright so again AB is the tangent to circle O at B find the length of the radius for R if AB is 8 and AO is 11.7, round to the nearest tenth if necessary, the diagram is not to scale. So here's what we're going to do again, key importance, the tangent to a circle intersects the circle at one point and at that point it creates a right, a right angle. Um, at that right angle, or sorry, right angle, we actually now have a right triangle that has been created. So here is your right triangle. All right. And now I have a leg, a leg, and a hypotenuse. So just like the last problem, I'm going to take 8 squared plus r squared is going to equal 11.7 squared, All right? because this is our hypotenuse. Um, and then I'm just going to solve it. So I get 64 plus r squared equals, and let me go ahead and calculate this out. 11.7. That gives me 136.89. I'm going to subtract 64 from both sides of the equation. Oops. 64. That gives me 72.9. And now I have r squared equals 72.9 the decimal point right there and I'm going to take the square root of 72.9 so when I do that I'm going to get actually a value that's close I'm going to round it to the nearest tenth it says and I get 8.5 is what I get all right Okay, so thanks for listening to that. That's basically how you would uh, find the lengths of the sides if, they're, if you're given a tangent to a circle um, and you know there's tri triangles be be being developed. So these are uh, just problems involving tangents and radii and, and right triangles if they give you amounts. So um, I'm going to stop the recording here and I'll continue on to the next couple problems that uh, are on this assignment from my from my niece Tira. So all right, thanks.